Dear Professor Latour, I have a rather peculiar question and uh, as having published a book of yours and trans translation of yours, I know that you like to use the word peculiar. So it's a rather peculiar question. Yesterday in the Belgrade election facing Gaia, it was on a couple of occasions you used the verb dramatize. Also you used the metaphors of drama, of theater, of staging. You have written a play you told us yesterday you would like once maybe to do a kind of uh, retake on Brecht's Galileo with uh, James Lovelock. So what does it mean for you, drama, dramatize as a style of exhibiting or exposing, presenting thought? Well, for me, dramatization is the way of being scientific because um, I've learned from the science studies I did that uh, a good experiment is a dramatic experiment in the English sense of a dramatic. Mm. It, it has really to be sharp and distinguishing very uh, clear. I mean, it's basically uh, the ideal of a scientific experiment is uh, something like uh, the guy is bald, you do something and the guy has hair. I mean, it's sort of as, as, as clear cut as mm. that. And if you bring this idea into uh, humanities and social sciences, it requires an extremely uh, intensified definition of what is uh, uh, a concept or mm. uh, an experiment or an inquiry. And I've always fought, uh, fought uh, against the idea that there was on the one side art or drama or whatever, and the other one science, because I've seen scientists struggling um, to precisely produce a uh, data set or a dispositive uh, of dramatization. Every scientific experiment is a dramatization dispositive. So my ideal, that's why I'm so interested in the Brecht Galileo, my ideal is a play where simultaneously you learn about the sciences and of course the rest of what is interesting in theater. So dramatization for me is not a negative term, it's a very highly positive because it sharpens the mind. It means also that you address an audience which is larger than what uh, usually you could uh, address. And it's also, I think, important for uh, restaging, re mm -hmm. one of the metaphor you mentioned, restaging um, debates for a community of people which is much larger than the academic circles. So that's why exhibition for me is, is, for me there is no difference between exhibition, theater, or um, let's say the discursive argumentative tone. Of course I know better how to deal with philosophical or anthropological text, but all of those are genre of dramatization if you want. And the question is how much overlap can you make between a scientific experiment, which I'm following now with, with the people who work on geochemistry, theaters and exhibitions.